Hi friends, this is Maggie. So I have another video for you today. Um, and it's about, I've completed another of my um, uh, mini junk journal. Um, and I completed it. So I wanted to go ahead and do a flip through and show you the one that I did before that one. And I think this was in between. But these are like mini mini junk journals they're done with uh, paper bags and I'm just gonna do a flip through and then also I wanted to show you an order that I placed I'm getting ready for an upcoming trip and um, I wanted to take all of my mini sets and mini art supplies I don't want to carry too much so I bought something that is gonna carry not all the stuff that I want to take but at least some of the small stuff like you know my brushes these are traveling brushes um i bought this i love these these are so nice they're round brushes size i believe four eight and twelve i think this is an eight no this is an eight this one is an eight this one is a twelve and this is a four so um i love these brushes so i know that's gonna fit here um, with other little things that I have. Let's see which one is the small one. This one goes here. Um, I'm hoping, if not, to also get my mini palette, ceramic palette that I, um, I got a few um, a few weeks ago. Um, if not, if, if it's too much, because I also want to carry a journal, a mini journal. If not, I'm going to take this, um, and this is the one. I actually have this separated because I wanted, um, I want to um, cover it and um, use the, how do you call that? My, the word is missing from my head now. Um, I can't think of it. Um, but I want to go ahead and protect this so that if I put it in here and the palette is wet, it just doesn't get, you know, damaged. And I just can wipe it out. Um, but this is my mini ceramic set. Um, I started using it. I love it. It's so easy to just grab it from your desk. I'm using this for more as a palette to mix and stuff like that. And then I've already put all of my um, watercolors. They're all Daniel Smith. And these are the colors that are in there so um, I want to take this if it doesn't fit in here because I bought the little journal it's like a pencil pouch pocket that you can put um, all of your little art supplies if it doesn't fit there definitely I know I'm going to take that plus I'm going to take the other mini um, um, carry utility pouch is called which is this one here I'll put that stuff. I know that's going to fit there probably with this. This is another watercolor palette um, for traveling. You take the rubber out, take this out, and then you have this is for water. You can have two for water. One to clean, the other one is when the water is dirty. And then you just open it up. You got your watercolors, you got your palettes here, and then you just slide it here. And then you slide this one here. And it can sit. And it can sit on the table. And you have your waters here. I've used this. It's very, very handy. So I am going to take this one. Most likely I'll have it here because I think it's going to be a little too big for what I order. Um, the, the other one will be mainly the brushes, the pencils, the pen, all the stuff that I want to take. Um, I'll have it on that little one that I'm just going to show you. And then, um, like I have, you know, like this can go in the little one, which is a electric, electrical pen, pencil, and a rubber pen. Um, this one I can carry here. This is when I want to have, you know additional water if I'm not taking this one then I can use this one to have the two waters so so that's that and then I've got a couple of things this is just to pour the water in the palettes um, some 
clips to hold the pages of my journal in case it's windy, which will probably be. And then I have this collapse, which is this one I can also put in here. This is kind of neat because this is a collab container. See, and I can take that with me. Let's take that with me. And then, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, I am gonna take my other mini palette. Um, this is a airtight wet, wet palette. And I put all of my watch paints in here. I love it. Um, some of my paintings here in this book will have the gouache um, paintings there, and I've been using this. Um, so you open it up here. You open it up there, and it looks like that. There's another one that actually it sits inside something similar to this, nice and you know rounded. And then when you pull it out, you can do that. I didn't see it and I think it's more expensive, but I didn't need to because I already have this. So you open it up and you have your wallet and it'll keep them nice and moist. So I'm excited about this one. I really so definitely this one and my mini watercolor palettes are gonna come with me. And um, it's just a matter of where I place them in the new pouch or in here. Um, based on you know how it fits so without further ado let's go ahead and open my packet so you guys can see it okay okay here we go the only thing about it is the I bought the one normally this said it couldn't be a full set where they send you the mini journal they send you um, not this but they send those um, hold on one second. Let me get something. Okay, so they will send you like a mini mini pilot, real thin mini pilot that you can slide into this. Um, a, the, uh, the journal, um, a ruler, I think some paper clip like the one I have here, something similar to that. They do have these in there too. They have that in there. I think it has a pen a pencil and I believe a fine marker so it comes fully loaded but it is so expensive it's like a hundred and seven something dollars and I'm like why am I gonna buy that when I already have it I have to just be creative and pull the stuff that I have but for the mini palette that fits into this journal um, I was watching a YouTube channel um, with the someone created a mini palette out of makeup so I purchased these, um, I'm going to take out the makeup, these are very cheap, and then I'm going to put the watercolor there, um, here and there, and just have all this color. So if I want to go and not take anything else but this, this, and, uh, and actually a, a, um, a water brush, which is, a water brush, which is this one here. I'm all set by just taking this little pouch. I have everything I need with a little journal, that and that. And I don't have to take all this other stuff. So I am. this is what I'm gonna be playing to uh, put it in here in case that um, I'm not able to carry some more. Cause I think these are other stuff that I have here a little bit heavy, but I think this is gonna work out fine. So let's go ahead and open this up. That's a little thing here. I guess you open it like that. First time I see this. And, uh, now, I am not crazy about the color. Well, actually, it's not that small. Hmm. I thought it was going to be very small, but it's not. I actually went with the other one, which is great because I can, I can, I can throw in here my um, uh, this. Not this one, the other one. I have one that's like this. I can throw that one in there. That's perfect. I'll be able to take my bigger journal um, there. Uh, but this is a card from them. This is the, the it's called A5 um, Art. Yes, I know why I did that because I love this size. And I think I'm gonna throw um, a, a couple of, um, uh, just a um, Mandori journal in there, insert in there, and it's going to fit because of the size. So, it's from that company. And what I, that's crazy about is um, they didn't have the, uh, the colors that 
I, I would prefer to have taken, but I actually would, oh, actually I did the black one. I thought I did, I forgot. I was looking at the yellow one and um, it ended up taking the black one, which is perfect. Oh, because there was one that I was looking at and I think that was a tiny one and I decided at the last minute to change. I changed my mind because it was about this small. And I figured, you know, I carry a little bit more than that. And it had this yellow neon color around it, which I wasn't too crazy about. So I think at the very last minute, I changed it to this one. And because it's empty, it only cost me 46, I think, 46. But let me show you, it's heavy duty. And so here it is, let's see. This one is a black cover only. Um, it's called the Art Toolkit, and it's in black. And then this is kind of a picture of how it comes if you were to buy, if it was fully loaded, you, you have all this in there. Let me make sure the light is hitting this so you guys can see it. There it goes. See, it will be, all that stuff will be in there. But I didn't because I have it. And so you can put your journal here. And you can put your little ruler, which I do have one, and those little gadgets, my my water brush there, and all that. And then I have to put a whole, actually it has so much space that I probably can fit the big one and the little one here. And this is a good thing. And then here, let me see, you see this will be, I knew it, it's gonna be perfect. I can do this one here, and this one here. Actually, not not there. No, it's not gonna. This one at least fit, but I can just have that there. But because it's so big, I I would probably be able to get my um my palette. This one in here. Oh, that, yeah. Oh yeah, that would be perfect. So I'm gonna have fun putting this together. Once I put it all together, I'll do a new video. Uh, just when I have it all ready and I have put in my watercolors here and put all the gadgets in here so you guys can see that. So anyway, that is my fun stuff um, that I purchased. Now let me go into my little journals and show you my little mini bags, um, journals that I call junk journals because you throw everything on it and just go ahead and do a flip through so you guys can see this. Okay, so I had to insert this video in between the video because as soon as I completed the video of opening my my delivery of that art supply, the art toolkit, um, I got this package and I'm going, okay, what is this? So I opened it up and I don't know what I did, but here it is. This is the one. I thought I was gonna get this is the one I ordered so I think what I did if I'm not mistaken is that I saw another packet that was larger to fit my my um, this size of, um, of journal in there because I can flip this in there and then carry this and I ordered that for this, and but I still this is the this is the original one that I wanted for my traveling, and you can see the difference between that one that's huge and this one that's little. You see, and then this is pretty nice though. Um, it does have the same packets as this one, which I thought it was kind of different because this one is the one that comes all loaded up, and I actually. I order it empty to save some money just because I have the supplies so there's no need for me to order the whole packet and pay so much money when I have it but it does have the same packet or, you know it does have heavy duty packets this is really nice so I'm going to use it for that journal here which I will be doing this when I want to take my journal and just kind of putting it in here And just kind of and have it in here and not only that it fits but that I also can throw some of my little stuff in here so, so this is this is exactly what I wanted to do <laughs> the video about this one and I ended up doing the video on that one so let me show you again this is 
It's called the five star, um, five star pocket. And you know, okay, so this one is called the five star pocket. And now that I'm looking at it really good, this is not, this is the one that looks similar to the small one. This is, this, this was right. This was from that company where they send it all set up for you and you can either order the whole set inside for a hundred and something dollars or you can just order it empty. Um, so this is the true one which I ended up ordering a large one to make everything fit. And then this is one that I found in Amazon that's called multi, multi, uh, multi packet pencil pouch because it has all this stuff in here. Um, all these pockets and I can carry my little journal and my supplies in here because it kind of has the same See if it has This pocket here see? You get to see what's in there. Yep, it has this where you can carry your pens You can carry your pens here and you can have your journal like for instance I'm just gonna use this one or oh, actually I can is one of these journals, just throw it in there in my art supply and walk around with this. So this is one that looks just similar. This was real, uh, this one, I, I don't remember how much I paid, but it wasn't, it wasn't as expensive as, as this one here, okay? So, but if you don't wanna go with that one, you can find this one in Amazon. It's called Five Star Multi Strong Last Long a pencil pouch and you can use it as a traveling um, bag, art supply bag, and you can throw your stuff in there. You got your pencils, you can put your supplies in here. It's kind of neat. So now I have to decide. I'm probably going to take them both on my trip. So I'll go ahead and take this one on my trip as well. Okay, so hopefully this is you guys can see this one now what I did here the background here is gouache and this here is a napkin that is from Jane Davenport see the name there I left it there because that is her napkins and they're beautiful so what I did is I used the matte media to kind of glue it to the page first I, I did the background color it with um, gouache in that color and then I came with the napkin and I put uh, matte me, um, media. Let me show you the container. It's the mate medium, and I use that as the, the glue. Really, it's what you use to glue stuff. And actually, when I was done, I put more to just cover this, since this is a cover. And um, so I did that. The only thing is. It kind of lost a little bit of the color. I can go back and probably use acrylic to bring it more alive. I probably will do that. Or just leave it like that. But anyway, this is two bags that I have folded here. Actually, this one has three bags, I think. Looks like I have three bags folded and then some paper that have been folded to this size. And this is how it looks like you. Um, I actually... I think I glued them, I've done this a long, long time ago. But when you open this up, this is your bag. This is, you see the bag right here? That's your bag there. And then in your bag, you can just throw something that you've created, just put it there, it's kind of neat. Um, and this is from, you know, when I first played with this. So this, this has been a little while ago. So this is one of the pages. This is the other page. This one I don't like. This is all acrylic paints. I don't like it and I, it covered the whole page. I could have done something, but you know, I left it there. This is all practice, just to uh, practice, basically. This one has a little bit of everything. This one, she's um, acrylic, I think she's acrylic. Yeah, she's acrylic and then I have all these um, prints from that print um, T 
tissue papers that I create. I've done a couple of videos. I have ripped some of them there. I use the acrylic here to draw the flowers. So this is kind of busy and then a stamp. And then this one, you see this is the other side of the second bag. It's right there. And I have, what do I have here? Oh, I have <laughs> um, a drawing I did. I have it there. Um, this one again is, is the acrylic and I think this is squash because this is made a squash and some and the rest is acrylic, some stamps and stuff like that and some acrylic here. This one I also used the tissue, the printed tissue paper that I created as a background. This is craft paper that I used to cover the whole bag. This one here and then I added stuff and then with acrylic paint, I did the horse, which I like this one a lot. This horse came out pretty nice. So I like, and then I used the stamp here. And then this one is gouache, I think. She's gouache that, again, I used the craft paper, which is this orangey one. And then I added, you know, some paint, some stamps. And then that page there. This one I showed you guys not too long ago. This is with acrylic paints and I love the colors and I look, it has everything. This is like a, it's like a plastic material type of stamp. I have washi tapes. I have the print paper in the background. Um, and then I use all these colors. You can see some of it. This is a washi tape here. See the shining of it? So that one I did. And this is the one I did this week. Now, the only thing I did, this is the craft paper in the back. And maybe it has a little bit of gouache because I um, changed the tone a little bit. But this is all done with gouache and I didn't put anything. Just sitting on the, this is just, on, uh, which is amazing. I was surprised that craft paper will take gouache so well. So. So that's the one I did last week. And then I did another one. Um, I will leave Friday, I finished it. This is a napkin that I did the same technique. I, I glued it to the page and then I added some color. I was planning to leave it with the color of the paper, the, but somehow she kind of faded in there. So I started to try bring it more alive and added color in the back and stuff like that. The eye I also drew is not that one, but it's from another eye that I saw on Pinterest. And so I drew the eye. And then this is a stamp from J Jane Davenport that has eyes. So I took a little piece and put it there. And the reason why this one looks like that is this is a note from my son. Um, and I didn't want to lose that note. And he had put it on my journal there. So I left it there and I said, let me work around it. And he only had one heart, so I added more hearts. And then, this is one of my favorite uh, watercolors that I was bringing. I did this a while ago. I love this one so much. So I put it right here. So that's the journal that I just completed. Before this one, I think it was this one that I did. This is the little tiny paper bags. And I actually used Velcro to create that thing there. And you see the bag there? So I have the paper bag here. Um, here I have that in there. Um, here are some paper that I actually cut that I did watercolor and I cut and I placed there. Um, some stamps. Um, kind of did the same thing. Here's some stamps. Um, this is the craft paper. Some stamp here I didn't do. This is more stamps and, and craft paper and, and stickers. Um, same thing here. I have a little bit of everything. Um, you see, again, I'm using the stamp. You see the eye right there? And here. It's kind of neat. This is, it's just washi tapes with eyes, and it's pretty neat. Then like, it has this in-between flip through, and it has some. Um, I'm not doing this so much. I'm kind of changed. It's not something that I adore anymore. I mean, once in a blue moon, I, I use the mixed media, but I'm more into the watercolor, acrylic, and oil is what I'm doing now more. But anyway, see, this is the bag. And then you turn around. Kind of neat. Um, this is stamps again. 
stamps that I use. And I think I have the same thing here. I have that thing here, which this is horrible. <laughs> and then this is a little bag and it has that little thing in there. I was, I was enjoying this a lot when I was into it, but not anymore. Um, this one is the craft paper in the back, some stamps, and it looks like I, a little sticker here or something here. Same thing here. I even have some stamps. Everything you have, that's why they call it a junk journal because you throw everything in there. Then I have another pocket from the bag and I've got some little tags there. And then I've got some more stuff here. I've got again another tag here that has, again, the eye. I guess I like that <laughs> washi tape a lot. Um, let's just put it in here. And that's that one. And this is the last one. Um, I think this was the, this is the very first one I, I did when I learned how to play with the bags. This is supposed to be a bag, um, except that I have, I think I have two bags here. Yeah, I got one bag, two bags, and I cover this. I should have left it open to be a pocket, but I didn't, you know, I was, I was learning how to do this, and then I did the same thing here, but then I have two openings. So that is acrylic paint um, that I cut and placed it there. So washi tape, um, scotch tape actually, the decorative scotch tape, and some stickers, and a lot of stuff going on here. I did it on a paper, cut it out, placed it there. And that. This is a, a gouache, I think it is. Yeah. So uh, it's really busy. This one is, it looks like gouache, I think. I like that one. And just the flowers there. And this one has everything. You can see the stickers, everything. It's kind of a fun thing to do when you just want to throw everything in a paper. And that was gouache too. And this one, this was a, this was a long time ago. I had, should have had put a date on, but I didn't. And then I was using the prints that I created with the jelly print. And then I got another, I got my first packet, yeah, which I placed. A little card that I had there. A cat that I was playing with the watercolor and letting the water run. So, and that's it. This, this is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. Bye.